Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in again today. I'm back after a very, very long hiatus. Um, just to kind of catch up and share what I've been up to. In the past five or six months, a lot of new things have been going on in my life. I recently bought a house, moved out to the suburbs, and started a new job. So have been a lot of life transitions, um, but everything's going really well and I'm loving it, um, But which sort of explains why I've been a little MIA on my channel. But now that it's 2015, I'm hoping to get more into this again in the new year. Um, I know I've been getting the bug to make videos again and just feel like I'm still just as obsessed with makeup as I always have been. I just haven't been able to share it with you guys um, like I usually do and so I really miss that and I'm hoping that I can stay committed and dedicated and at least try to get some sort of regularly um, posted videos up here. I'm never going to be like super religious about it the way some like professional YouTube beauty vloggers are. Um, I have a full time job. I don't have time to make videos every single day, but you know, it is a hobby of mine and a love and an interest of mine. So I figure, you know, why not try to share the love and the wealth um, with you guys. So anyways, thanks again for tuning in and um, apologies to all my subscribers who have been asking where I've been. Um, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I'll link all the information below so you can kind of stay tuned on what I'm up to and what I'm doing. Um, I do post to my social media channels a lot more regularly than I post videos. So I often post looks of the day and lip colors and things like that. So if you're looking to kind of stay in touch, um, please find me there on my social media channels. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive in. Again, this is sort of going to be like a random mishmash video of just kind of updating you, I guess, on things I've been liking recently. So I'm going to start off with just kind of talking about the look that I have on today. Um, it's sort of my interpretation on the Marsala Pantone Color of the Year trend um, that's going on right now. And it's just funny that that happened to be the Pantone Color of the Year because I've been so into these like burgundy wine kind of lip colors and accessories series lately and so when I saw that that was the Pantone color of the year I can't say that I was super surprised um, but it's definitely the one of the years I've been the most excited about last year with orchid I think there was like a turquoise and a mandarin and like I just wasn't really that excited about those years but this year I'm super excited um, so I kind of created a uh, eye look today that was sort of my interpretation on that wine Marsala look um, and I used the Lorac unzipped palette um, and for those of you that aren't familiar with this palette it has like a really nice kind of like wine burgundy shade um, so I use that kind of all around my eye um, and then just some of these like shimmery browns um, but yeah I have green eyes so I feel like the warm kind of like cinnamony brown colors really complement uh, my eye color and then for my lip color I wore Too Faced um, lipstick in Cinnamon Kiss and this isn't quite as dark um, as like the traditional Marsala like Pantone color of the year lipstick that you'll see like at Sephora or anything but I feel like it's a lot more wearable I've been really into these sort of like rosy um, reddish wine berry colors lately because for me I feel like they look natural enough and professional enough but they're not too vampy and dark I don't like to wear a really dark vampy lip look during the day I really would only wear something like that at night um, so I feel like this is like a nice way to kind of make it softer and more natural and toned down I'm just gonna reapply this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better um, but yeah that's a great color um, just for kind of like a wearable everyday uh, lip color some of the other lips that I've been loving lately are the Estee Lauder um, Pure Color Envy lipsticks. I only have two of these, but I'm obsessed with both of them. The formula is amazing. It's so creamy, so moisturizing. Um, and for me, I have really dry, kind of flaky lips. So I really like like a more creamy, moisturizing, or even a glossier lipstick. Whenever I wear a matte or a velvet lipstick formula, I end up using like a gloss over it or a balm underneath it or on top of it because it just is really drying on my lips. The two colors I picked up that I do wear all the time, the first one is Dynamic and it's kind of similar to the last shade that I showed you guys. Um, a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more like pumpkin-y but it's up here. I mean they look very similar. 
um, but like slightly different. I don't even know if you can tell the difference in camera, but this for me is like my go-to everyday kind of natural lip color look because it gives you color. I like to have pigment on my lips. I don't like a nude lip or a pink lip or something too dark or too flashy. So for me, it's like the perfect everyday lip that really kind of accentuates the natural color and pigment in my lips um, but like in a way that's like you can tell it's like something there but it's not like too much I don't know if I'm making any sense um and then the next color that I got is called rebellious rose and it's very similar to the other color it's just a little bit more pigmented and a little deeper um, and so this is a little bit more like if I'm going out or it's like more of my night color or I want a little bit more of a statement lip. So there's the Rebellious Rose. That's dynamic. And then here is the Cinnamon Kiss by Too Faced. So like all in the very same color family, like very, very similar. Um, honestly, you probably can't even tell the difference. But if you're looking to kind of try out like a rosy lip like that, like a toned down version of Marsala. Um, I would recommend all three of those lipsticks. I think they're awesome. But I mean, for me really, the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy formula is like by far my favorite lipstick ever right now. Um, and then the final lipstick I'm gonna talk about, which is another combo I've been loving. Um, this one's a little bit more pinky. It's a Rouge Allure Velvet from Chanel and it's called La Raffi Raffaine. I don't know how to say that. I'll put the information below. Um, but it's like, a, this is a matte and so it's like a dusty rose matte color. Um, and I'm gonna swatch it right here. Like honestly, all these swatches are looking so similar. You guys probably think I'm crazy. Um, but here is La Raffine by Chanel. I can't, I don't know if you can tell by this swatch, but it's definitely pinkier, more of a dusty pinky rose, but has like a little bit of that magenta um, kind of undertone to it. So yeah, I think I've just proven to myself that I have like way too many lipsticks that are like all the same color, but like, they're all amazing. Um, and then what I've been doing is topping the La Raffine, or however you say it, um, Chanel lipstick with 174 gloss. I think it's called Daydream, but it's like a sparkly pink. And it's like a raspberry pink color with a little bit of gold shimmer in it. And then I just top the lipstick with that. And it just makes it like a little bit more pink and a little bit more of like a fun kind of statement lip. Um, but I love these because you can wear like just the lipstick by itself if you want a more kind of professional matte daytime look. And then you can put the gloss on top, you know, for more of like a night fun look. Or, you know, you can even wear the gloss by itself. So anyways, those are kind of like all the lipsticks I've been loving right now. And then um, the other thing I've been kind of into are foundations obviously because I'm kind of like a foundation and lip junkie that's just like what I do um of all makeup things that's like kind of my favorite but there's been so many new drugstore foundations out so I've been trying some new uh drugstore foundations and then some of them are like newer and then some of them are just like ones that have been out forever that I just never tried before that now I'm getting around to trying um in the winter my skin tone gets really pale and like then all my normal foundations from the rest of the year like seem too muddy or dark on me. So rather than buying like another bottle of, a bottle of Estee Lauder Double Wear, like another bottle of like Chanel Via Lumiere Aqua that's like 50 bucks, like I just go to the drugstore and buy like a $7 foundation because I'm like I'd rather mix them with my higher end foundations or just get through the winter um, with a lighter colored foundation because like I'm not typically this pale. Um, so that's kind of like what I've been doing. So the first one I've been using a lot and loving is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Um, I tried the regular Maybelline Fit Me like a long time ago and I absolutely hated it. It was just like, it's really more for dry skin and I have normal oily skin and on me it was like greasy and just like too dewy and it like oxidized and it transferred and it was just like not pretty. Um, so I was a little apprehensive to try this one because I had such a bad experience with the last one, but I have been loving this. Um, I have it in the color 112 and I originally bought it in the color 120, but it was a little too dark for me. Um, so I've been using 112, but I really like this foundation. It's a nice matte finish. Um, it does do really well with sort of making your pores look smaller. Um, I definitely wear, would recommend wearing a primer with it, um, but it's like $7 and it's like really good. So if you have normal to oily skin, I'd highly recommend checking it out. I really like that one. I was really pleasantly surprised. Um, and then the other one which I'm wearing today is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. 
Love this one as well. Very long wearing. It says 24 hour wear, which I love, like a really long wearing, more matte kind of foundation for my normal to oily skin. But also in the winter, like my skin gets drier. So I haven't really like recognized any issues with either of these like being too drying on my skin. But again, I would just recommend like moisturizing really well before you use them and using a primer um, so that they just look really flawless so you don't get like weird cracking or drying or anything like that. Um, but I've been loving this one. It almost has a little bit more of like a gel-like finish and it looks a little bit more like satiny and dewy maybe than this one. Um, but I really like both of them. Like I can't tell a huge difference between the two, but I, I mean this one to me looks a little bit more like high end on the skin like it has more of like a 3d gelish like dewy but matte look whereas this one's just kind of straight matte but i've been really liking both of those and then i also just picked up the rimmel lasting finish they like repackaged it there's really nothing new about this i don't think but this is another really great long wearing um foundation from the drugstore so great for like normal to oily skin but honestly I think that this could be okay for drier skin too um this one's like really great with like humidity and sweat I mean obviously it's winter right now so it's not really a concern but I really like loved this foundation back in the day and I kind of forgot about it and so I picked it back up and really liking it again like I, again I don't think they really changed anything about it um and then I've also been loving the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous I have this in the color 115 um, and I have the lasting finish, the Rimmel and color 100 Ivory, just so you know. Um, so Ready Set Gorgeous, again, a long wearing foundation, great for oily skin. I feel like a broken record, like, but honestly, like, I'm so happy because it's really hard to find good drugstore foundations for oily skin. And I feel like in the last, like, couple months or year or so, there's just become, like, so many more options available. Um, so this one I've absolutely loved. And then I also love the CoverGirl 3-in-1 um, Perfection, or it's like the blue and it has like a pump. Anyways, I don't have it with me right now, but that one I love as well. But those two CoverGirl foundations are awesome. Um, and then the final drugstore foundations I've been dabbling around with are the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, I kind of like like a dewier, luminous finish on my skin in the winter. And so I picked this one up. I know it's been around forever, but I've never tried it. And I've been really liking it. Um, so, yeah, I also recently picked up the um, Revlon Photo Ready, like the one of the glass bottle with the pump. And it said it was new, but, like, I've had that before. And I tried it again, and it didn't seem any different than any other version of it that I tried in the past. So I actually returned it um, because it had, like, sparkle like glittery particles in it and I just really did not like that like when I would look at my face in the car mirror it would have like glistening sparkles all over it so I returned that but then I was like okay I really like the idea of a more luminous kind of like glowy skin going on for the winter but I just couldn't handle the glitter in the photo ready so that's why I picked up the L'Oreal um, True Match Lumi and I've been really liking this one too definitely more dewy definitely more luminous I think for me I might mix this one with another foundation instead of just wearing this foundation alone because for me it's not very long wearing but um, definitely have been loving that as well. Um, and then finally, the other foundations I've been loving for winter that are not drugstore foundations are the It Cosmetics CC Cream, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is like the jumbo size that you can get on QVC. I'm obsessed with this. Um, just to compare you guys the jumbo to the regular size, like the jumbo is like two and a half times as big. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, so the dollar value is awesome if you like this CC cream. Check out QVC um, and see if you can order this super size um, because it's just a much better value and like I think this tube was like $42 from Ulta and this tube was like $50 from QVC so don't quote me on that but look into it if you like this. Um, the only like thing that I've run into with this is like Fair is too fair for me and light is too dark for me, so I have to mix them, so I had to buy two, which is kind of frustrating, but I love this product so much that, like, I can't really be mad, um, but it's just awesome because it's, like, so moisturizing. It has SPF 50 in it. It, like, literally cancels out, like, any redness, any discoloration. Um, it just feels really good on the skin and just great for winter because it has this, like, dewy kind of luminous natural finish to it 
um, that's just really flattering and I feel like it's just like soothing my skin um, as I wear it because you know it's just been so freaking cold and dry um, in Chicago so anyways that is it for foundation um, for concealer just a couple concealers I've been liking they're all drugstore um, the first one is the L'Oreal true match crayon corrector um, I've been just using this like to kind of highlight certain areas of my face so like I put it like between my brows like above my brows um, sometimes around my nose like the bridge of my nose my chin and then like a V in my under eye circles and I really like it because it's lighter than my skin so it does a really good job highlighting but it blends out like really creamy um, and it, I just sometimes don't like to use a liquid concealer because I feel like it just like is goopy or it like starts like I don't know like getting sticky or like just moving to all these other areas of my face so whenever I'm using like this for a contour I really like it because it's very precise and it kind of just stays exactly where you put it and I've been using the IT Cosmetics um, airbrush blurring concealer brush number 103 yes number 103 to kind of blend that out it's kind of big like it looks like it wouldn't be a good concealer brush but literally I just like crayon on my concealer and then I just take the brush and I kind of just like blend it all out and it just blurs it really perfectly and just kind of like makes it really look soft and nice. Um, the other concealer I've been loving because it's a little bit more moisturizing for the winter is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Stick Concealer. I don't even know if they make this still but I've been really liking it. So hopefully they do. And then the final concealer um, that I have been liking and this is a new one it's the Maybelline Master Conceal and I got it in the color light it's kind of like um, reminds me sort of of like MAC Pro Longwear Concealer or like some sort of other like tattoo concealer so it's like really good coverage it's creamy um, but it's a liquid so it's like the type of one you have to put on the back of your hand you have to get a brush I mean at least for me that's how I use it um, I don't usually just like put it right on my hand and dab it I don't know I just don't do that but I, yeah, not a huge fan of the application method, but the actual concealer itself is another really good drugstore foundation. So anyways, guys, that's just like a quick update on my life, what I've been using, what I've been loving. If you want to see any more full-length reviews on any of these foundations, just let me know. I know this was a really long, kind of rambly video, but anyways, I'm so happy to be back. So good to see you guys. Um, I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a great New Year's and is feeling, you know, ready for 2015 ahead.